So there are a number of tests that are available to us. Uh, the standard acid uh, testing, pH testing, the impedance pH monitoring, and wireless pH monitoring. I'll start with the wireless pH monitoring. That is important in patients in particular who don't tolerate the catheter test. So if you cannot tolerate the catheter, the next obvious thing to do is to do it wirelessly. It's also important to do if patients have symptoms that don't occur every day and reflux events that don't occur every day. So if you're very convinced of a, of a study of, of the disease and the patient's catheter-based test is negative, then wireless pH monitoring uh, might uh, be the best test for them. Uh, the, in terms of the catheter-based test, if we should be doing pH testing or impedance pH testing, the, uh, both are important, both are useful. The impedance, however, gives a little extra. It provides us with information with regards to uh, not just how much acid reflux is taking place, but how many reflux events occur overall and how far up the reflux events goes into the proximal esophagus. So that can paint a picture of the reflux uh, that the patient has uh, and, and, and give us a much more clear impression. But it's more labor intensive. So if there is a facility, I would always go for impedance pH monitoring. Thank you.